Hi, my name's Zach, but everyone just calls me Ranger Zach. This is my wife, Corey. She runs the camera. We have a daughter. Make that two daughters. And this is my dog, Dose. I also play a pretty mean guitar. For the last 10 years, I've been a real life park ranger, protecting wildlife, fighting forest fires, rescuing lost hikers, and doing all sorts of cool stuff along the way. Now I'm here to teach you everything that you need to know to be a real life park ranger too. Welcome back to the Ranger Zach Show. I hope you got out there last week to look under some rocks and logs to complete your Junior Ranger Challenge. This week, I want to talk to you about something very important. One important part of a park ranger's job is to look after all the special things inside a park. Sometimes these special things are called natural resources. Usually, when people think of natural resources, they either think of plants or animals. But did you know that rocks Water, air, and historic artifacts also need protecting too. What's a historic artifact? Well, I'm glad you asked. Did you ever want to know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. To you get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show. Long ago, the world looked very different than it does today. Take, for example, where I am now. If I was standing in this same spot millions of years ago, I would be deep under an ancient ocean. Lucky for me and you, that ocean is no longer here, but evidence of it can still be found today. I'm taking you to go look for fossils of this ancient ocean. So we're gonna take off our park ranger hat and put on our paleontologist hat. Evidence of life in the past can be left behind by humans. This is discovered and then studied by archaeologists. But when an ancient plant or animal leaves evidence behind, it's called a fossil. And fossils are studied by paleontologists. Fossils are the stony remains of something that lived a long, long time ago. These can be dinosaur bones, footprints, insects left in tree sap, even leaves and shells. Fossils are made over thousands of years when something dies and then is covered by mud or tar. Oh wow, cool! Look at this shell fossil. This is the fossil of a scallop shell, and paleontologists call it a pectin. Pectin means something that looks like a comb. What do you think? Could Rangers that comb his hair with that? Nah. Some places allow you to keep fossils if you find them. But in most parks, it's really important to leave fossils behind for other junior rangers to discover and enjoy. That doesn't mean you can't take anything home today. I'm gonna show you three really cool ways for you to take home memories of all your discoveries. Would you like that? I think I saw another really cool fossil that this first technique should work great on. Come on, follow me. First, what you're gonna need is one of these. This is a charcoal pencil, but a crayon works great too. Next, take a very thin piece of paper and delicately place it flat against the shell. And then start rubbing. 
before you know it, the shape of the fossil should start to come alive on the piece of paper. Now it's time for your Rangers Act fun fact. It's over here growing on this cactus. See these little white blobs? This is called a cochineal fly. There's actually a wingless fly living in it, covering itself in a web. Watch what happens when I take a little piece. Now I smush them. Wow, look at that beautiful color. I hope you like eating bugs because this is still used as a natural food coloring today. Ugh, bug eater. What do you think life was like for the animals that lived in this ancient ocean? Some of them look familiar, like these clamshells. Just imagine all these different animals living together. Have you ever been to a tide pool? I imagine it would have looked a lot like that. I want to take this memory home with me, but it might be a little too bumpy to do a rubbing like we did on the last fossil. So instead, I'm going to take a picture with this really cool camera. Photography is a great way to take home the memories of all your discoveries. Here are some more pectin fossils. There's another one there too. This one's big. For these, I'm gonna use some very special tools. First, I'm gonna clear away any loose dust. Next, I have some very special park ranger preservation clay. Don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to make some back at the ranger station, so stay to the end. Let's open it up. Take a small piece of your park ranger preservation clay, flatten it out. This clay is very special because it doesn't leave any sticky residue behind on the fossil. Place the clay over the fossil that you want to preserve and gently press down. Now all you have to do is peel it away. And an impression of the fossil is left behind. How cool! We can take this back to the ranger station and bake it in the oven. That way we can keep it for as long as we want. Fossils can tell us a lot about the prehistoric world, what plants and animals live there, and about ancient ecosystems. Some fossils may even be able to tell us what an animal's last meal was. My last meal was some s'mores. <laughs> yum, yum. From there, we may make a hypothesis on what the weather may have been like and how the world has changed since then. Welcome to the ranger station, everybody. I know I promised you I was gonna teach you how to make my super special park ranger preservation clay. So I have junior park ranger Juniper here. Say hi, junior rangers. And we're gonna show you how.
For this recipe, you need two cups of flour, one cup of salt, and three quarter cups of water. If you want, you can add some food coloring for extra flair. Are you ready? Let's put in the two cups of flour. Next, we're gonna put in one cup of salt. Into the bowl it goes. Last, we're gonna put in three quarters of a cup of water. Into the bowl it goes. Let's give it a stir. If you want to use your hands, that's okay too. Oh, this is a lot of hard work. I feel like a baker. Now remember, Junior Rangers, the point of this clay is to not leave any sticky residue on the rocks behind. So, if it's too sticky, just add a little extra flour. We're gonna divide this clay in half to make two different colors. Just a couple drops of food coloring goes in. Wow, that was a lot of fun making that dough. But now here's the really cool part. You can flatten this dough out and press anything you want inside. Let's try some of these shells. Okay. Oh, pretty, let's show everybody at home. Cool fossil. Okay, let's make one on the other side. Here, try this one. Push it. Push it. Oh, nice and hard. Wow, look! A shell fossil. This one sort of looks like the pectins we found in that ancient ocean. Let me do that. Go ahead. Now just remember, if you're going to be making stamps out of real life fossils in the wild, it's best not to use food coloring in case any of the dye gets left behind. When you're done making all your stamps, have an adult help you put them in the oven. One to two hours at 200 degrees. This way you can keep your fossils for as long as you like. Here you go. Say thank you. And there you have it. That's how you make fossils at home. Let's go clean up. Fossil to the front, yeah. fossil to the back. Yeah. Let's make fossils with Ranger Zach. Yeah. Well, I feel a scratching at my leg, which tells me it must be time for the Ranger Roundup. Oh, hey, Pearl. Do you want to do the Ranger Roundup with me? Okay, this week's question comes from John John, who thought of a very interesting topic when he was out on a hike. Um, hi, Ranger Zach. Why do, um, um my question is, why do some um, smell so bad? And I saw your oak video and your dirt one. Cool question, John John. I think I knows the answer, but first, a joke. Hey Pearl, did you know that Ranger Zach had a pet skunk growing up? Yeah, it's true. I took him to school for show and smell. <laughs> well, John John, the bad smell of a skunk is called an adaptation. 
which means a special quality that helps an animal live in its environment. That bad smell protects a skunk from being eaten by predators. Let me ask you a question. Would you want to eat a cheeseburger that smelled like that? P.U. I wouldn't either. Well, everybody, there's only one last thing to do. The Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to use one of the three techniques I taught you to preserve your memories. Just a reminder, these are making a rubbing, taking a picture, or using some of Ranger Zach's super special park ranger preservation clay. Make sure to tag me in a picture of your adventure at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. And it would mean a whole lot to me and Pearl if you subscribed to our channels and told all your friends about the Rangers Act Show who want to be Junior Rangers too. But just remember, until next time, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Rangers Act and Pearl, over and out.